It was all smiles at the 10th annual Coldest Night of the Year walk hosted by Streets Life Mission in Lethbridge, but organizers say it's the participants that make the walk successful. Team Koldo MB captain Beverly Burke says she joined the walk to help those who are less fortunate. I take my son to Emmanuel Christian School and I drive past um, where they come out of the shelter in the mornings and my heart just breaks for them because only because I've made different decisions or God has made has put different people in my life. In spite of COVID-19 restrictions, 38 teams comprised of 247 walkers braved the elements for this year's walk, the highest number Streets Alive Mission has seen. Streets Alive Mission says the community of Lethbridge has once again stepped up to the plate and is recognizing the need. All the funds raised from the coldest night of the year go towards our outreach team and providing food for those people that are on the streets. This year, participants had two options to choose from. They could do a virtual walk, allowing them to walk on their own time, or they could join their in-person walk at Lando Lates Golf and Country Club, where they had the option to do either a two or five kilometer route. We felt it was really important to continue with our in-walk, our in-person walk this year. And um, we are the only ones in Western Canada that are actually hosting an in-person walk for Coldest Night of the Year. Streets Alive Mission has set a goal to raise $40,000 at this year's walk. As of Monday afternoon, they have surpassed its goal and have raised just shy of $65,000. Carson Marsouk, E! News.